Hey everyone, it's good to see you again. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. In today's video, I thought I would do one of my favorite types of videos to watch, which are favorite videos. I love to watch favorite videos. I want to know what everyone likes and you know, pick up some of the things that are their favorites. Maybe they become my favorites. I just, I love to try out new products. So we got skincare, we got makeup, we got some food items, some scents, some TV shows. If you're interested, continue to watch this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe before starting. And let's jump right into it. Start off with skincare first because, you know, I love me some skincare. We love a really good skincare regimen on my channel. So the Fresh Rose Deep Oil Infused Serum. It is amazing. If you haven't tried it out, you need to try it. It's a little bit on the more, it's a little bougie, but it is such a good serum. It gives your face that extra hydration. It gives you a plump, smooth, soft feeling on your skin. I apply it on at nighttime, and when I wake up, it's just so smooth and supple. It's one of my favorite skincare products that I have right now. Anything fresh, honestly, is just, amazing i've also really been loving this ula hendrickson cold plunge pore mask guys this stuff is so good personally for me i prefer to spend more on my skincare than i do on makeup it does tingle which does give you that like cold feeling so i think this is really refreshing and i use it two times a week and i really like it it works really well to you know clean out my pores so for lip care, I've been loving these two products right here. Um, <laughs> what do we start off first? Fresh has this Sugar Advanced Therapy Lip Treatment. And I've had this for quite some time now, but I've just recently used it because it's been getting really hot. Obviously, it's summertime, so it's been heating up. And I get like fine heat like around like my mouth area like kind of like eczema like but not really because they don't itch but they just show up when it's really hot out anyways um to take care of that on my lips i've been using this lip treatment here can you see it it's like showing up yeah so i've been using this um at nighttime and it really helps to soothe the redness and all the irritation that's been going on there and it clears up if I use this twice a week or like continuously for two nights in a row it will clear up by like the third day so this is really good great investment so this Laneige um, lip glowy balm is amazing it's very hydrating I find it a lot more hydrating than the original berry I think it's berry whichever flavor that one is i prefer the peach a lot better than the original because i didn't find that one hydrating i had to keep reapplying it throughout the day but this one lasts a really long time once it's been applied so i would highly recommend trying out the other flavors i guess you can say if you didn't like the original laneige berry lip glowy balm i guess we can move to body care because i guess it's Kind of relates to skincare but just you know on the body i've been loving this natural castor oil treatment for like my legs my arms my back you can also use this in your hair as like a hair treatment if you like but i use it on my body i find it makes my skin more smooth like especially after like shaving and you just apply it it's it's amazing i really like this i love it for my legs i love it for you know the rest of my body it's just really smoothing and it does calm like irritation if i run out of my eczema cream i tend to use this one to replace it for a little bit and it does calm down inflammation so this has been another favorite of mine okay so moving on to makeup um let's start off with the eyes these elf bite size shadow guys are so good i have cream and sugar i also have berry bad along with truffles and this one is a newer one that i got i plan to use this in a upcoming video look that i'm planning these shadows are so pigmented i'm gonna swatch one for you this one is berry bad they swatch so nicely 
Like look at that swatch and the shimmers are amazing. Like what you get when you swatch is exactly what you get when you apply it to your eyes. So they are amazing. They are super affordable. And I remember when I first tried these out back in like April, I think they were new then. I was just amazed. Like that is what they look like. I can't wait to pick up the rest of the collection because the amount of looks you can create with them, oh my gosh, I can't wait. So continue on with e.l.f. They have easily become, hands down, one of my favorite brands. This Perfect Finish HD Powder. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you guys know that this powder is my favorite thing of all time just smooths your makeup so well like especially under the eyes it's just such a really really good powder it doesn't give you any flashback it applies on translucently it just it's and it gives you that perfect finish like it does not lie on the packaging and i love to use it just under my eyes and all over the face but under the eyes it just looks so pretty so if you haven't tried this out Go get it, test it out for yourself, and let me know if you like it. Also from e.l.f., their precision sponges. Like, I, I cleaned them off for you guys because I wanted to show you what they look like. It comes with a big sponge for like your foundation, a medium one that you can probably use to like just put on powder underneath the eyes or use it for concealer. And they got this little tiny like baby one that's also for concealer under the eyes you can really get up and in there and just like around the nose i love these sponges so much their total face sponge the purple one is amazing as well i just their tools are so good like they have the best drugstore brushes and sponges out there and this just it just it keeps on getting better like i mean can we can we get some more? I want different colors, but this this is amazing. So since we're already on the makeup brushes and tools topic, I'm just gonna talk about the Morphe M504 brush. If you guys have been watching the last few videos of mine, I've been using this a lot lately and I'm about to go order like two, three more brushes because I need more in my collection. It just, it makes life so much easier. You blend out your shadows and it comes out seamless every single time. So your single shadow looks, girl, are going to be off the chain using this brush right here. And I'm about to go order a couple more and they're not expensive either. I'm saving you the trouble and telling you that you, you need this brush in your life. Trust me. Okay, so getting back into the makeup side of things, I just tried this out last week and I am so happy that I did. So this is the NYX High Glass Primer. And when I tell you it is illuminating, it is illuminating. It's not too aggressive, but if you go ham on it, then it'll you'll you'll look like an alien at this point. Does this come in different shades? I don't even know, but it comes in this one is in Moon Beam. It gives you that like glow from within underneath your makeup. It is absolutely beautiful. I like to just put it on my cheek. Sometimes I'll use it just on my cheekbones or just on the tip of my nose and the bridge. My makeup game will never be the same after this. It is amazing. With the Fenty foundation, I'm like a whole new girl wearing this, honestly. With those two together, amazing. So this has become my favorite primer. Another recent discovery is this Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. It comes with these four shades here, this one being the darkest, and it's, it's pretty dark, so I'm impressed. It's not splotchy, it's not muddy, I'm wearing it right now actually. I don't even know if you can see it, but I am wearing it right now and it is stunning. It's a drugstore product. It's very affordable. There's just nothing bad to say about it. I just, I really like it a lot. So I just have a couple more makeup items and then we can move on to the next 
category uh these cream blushes from fenty are so good i have fuego flush and i also have rose latte so this one is fuego flush i talked about this in my full face of fenty and i reviewed this blush and their bronzer in that same video i know it looks like it'll be in your face and intimidating and you wouldn't be able to work with it but look how sheer that is you can build it up it looks like a highlighter when you apply it and when you put a powder on top of it it is gorgeous i would like to try out like a more pinky shade just to see how that would look on me this one is rose latte i love rose latte it's like a nice like red brown color it's gorgeous on and like i said with a powder set on top of it mm, there is nothing better than that trust me it is so pretty last makeup item is this lipstick it's not new it's the maybelline shine compulsion lipstick in the shade chocolate lust this is like my perfect nude type color it is so beautiful like that's what it looks like it's very glossy very hydrating and that's how it applies on the lips and it is so beautiful i love it so much okay so moving on to these two bath and body work scents cucumber lily and vanilla chai latte i had bought these right before you know the whole quarantine started and oh, I fell in love. Vanilla chai latte smells like just a warm hug. Like it's what a warm hug to me would smell like. It's not too strong as of a scent either. And you know how like vanilla scents are very strong and powerful and they can give me like a headache sometimes, but this one is not. And because it has that chai latte scent just wrapped in it as well, it just it smells like home to me it's what like a home would smell like and what my future home is going to smell like because i would just fill it up with vanilla chai latte in every single room and cucumber lily is just it just smells like spring in a tiny little bottle it's not too sweet it's not overpowering it's just like a nice mellow like flowery but like refreshing scent because i know some flower scents could be very potent and sometimes with cucumber you can't really like smell it but the two just balance each other out and it just smells like fresh air like it smells like spring and again i would use this year round mostly in the bathrooms but this is a really good scent as well okay so i have a couple of like drinks and a little bit of food that i want to share with you guys if you love kombucha you are going to love this i know i had to take this out of the fridge and show it to you guys but this one is lychee and jasmine flavored in the rise brand i love this company's kombucha it is amazing i know kombucha is like hit or miss for some people like it's either you love it or you absolutely hate it i love kombucha and rice happens to be my favorite brand the ginger the lemongrass here's another one that i like but this is one that i've tried recently during quarantine and it is so good it's it's amazing so if you like kombucha i would highly recommend you go out and try this flavor right here also the brand odos i'll try and show like a picture somewhere right here but their gluten-free like sandwich bread their bagels everything bagel is to die for their burger breads amazing it's a vegan brand and it's it is so good oh i want to share with you these glasses these are like those um blue light glasses that help protect your eyes from like the blue light from your um your like electronics your tv and whatnot and these are so cute they're from key i got them when they were buy one get one free or 50 percent off during quarantine and they're super cute they really do help with the lights 
on your phone and stuff like that. So I would suggest, you don't have to get these ones specifically. Picking up a pair of blue light glasses, they will, you will thank me. They are so good for your eyes, trust me. Netflix shows, guys, Selling Sunset is amazing. If you've watched it, let me know. I loved watching it and I can't wait for the third season to come out. I've been re-watching the previous seasons and oh my gosh, it's not just real estate, but there's drama in it too, which I like, but the houses that they sell are to die for like dream home vibes right there music that i've been loving lately kelani's it was good until it was an album still on repeat i've been listening to it all quarantine it's the songs just hit a different way like ugh, so good ungodly hour chloe and Haley. <sighs> forgive me banger absolute banger they they killed their albums they killed it absolutely killed it so guys that completes my favorites video let me know if you enjoyed it down below in the comment section along with what your current favorite things are whether it be makeup skincare food tv shows let me know and let's have a conversation about it like this video if you enjoyed watching and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already while also turning on that bell notification button so you don't miss any more of my videos. I hope you guys have a great day wherever you are and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.